everyone welcome to daily news analysis of indian express today we have brought five important news first one is digital demons and what is the significance of this particular news is if you see there were two topics directly or indirectly asked by ibacio in 2017 and 2020 and the topic name is social media a boon or bane for security agencies and second one is mass communication and national security there is also one important topic was asked by uh, upsc in capf assistant command and exam in 2000 uh, 2020 i think the topic was social media social media is inherently a selfish media सो इन टॉपिक को आपको एनालाइज करने के बाद पता लग गया होगा द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दिस न्यूज और नाउ गोइंग विद द न्यूज न्यूज में क्या है द फेसबुक फेल टू टेकल मिस इन्फॉर्मेशन वट एपन इज अ विसल ब्लोअर नेम फ्रांसिस ह्यूजन शी वॉज वर्किंग विद दिस पर्टिकुलर फेसबुक एंड शी फाइंड आउट दैट फेसबुक गिवन मोर प्रेफरेंस टू द प्रोफिट ओवर द प्राइवेसी एंड सिक्योरिटी ऑफ द यूजर्स so if anybody is also preparing for this civil service examination there is gs paper 4 ethics in which you will find a lot of case studies uh, there will be a dilemma dilemma between profit versus privacy or security of an individual so aap isko wahan se relate kar sakte so what happened in this news is there was a facebook researcher in kerala he found out a very interesting thing that he joined the facebook and thereafter the researcher simply followed the pages and the people whatever the algorithm recommends so after one month what happened is the news feed the uh, the front page of his account he found out a lot of polarizing content misinformation violence uh, content fake accounts of political parties fake news and political violence hate speech so what this suggest that this facebook does not uh, does not tackle this kind of information so this has a, uh, a major connotation to the threat to our internal security theek hai so aap isko isse relate kar sakte you you will able to reload, relate the importance of this article and also the topics asked by various examination second one is weighing down this particular news is related to the women the the stereotypes women facing in the society and the sexism and the sexist remarks what happen is a chinese astronauts what happen is she went to the space for 6 month and she stayed over there with man colleague and when she returned to the china there was a very huge and uh, human cry in media she was asked that how she managed her menstrual cycle in space and she was not fulfilling her 5 year old child responsibility so these were the irrelevant question asked by her but the same question was not asked by her man colleague they were also married they have they were also child but due to some stereotypes and gender inequalities these types of question was only asked by this chinese astronaut so one more important this astronaut was valentina trescova she was the first female astronaut and she said that that after being a female astronaut what happened is society is only remain centered on the bodies of the women and the traditional duties they are expected to fulfill so she talked about the stereotypes in the society and another is sally ride she was a astronaut from the us so she said that what makeup she was asked by one particular person that what makeup would she use abroad at the space shuttle there was also a sexist remark and another important thing is 
why this particular thing is happening due to the skewed sex ratio because uh, till this time only 11 only 11 percent of astronauts are women so 11 percent of women astronauts they are able to made to the space so this again perpetuates the vicious cycle we are now seeing now and the whole article is revolve around that space that space it is a great equalizer equalizer means no matter the person who goes to space whether is a male or female all feels the same weightlessness but when they return to the earth there is no such thing that gender equalities there is no such thing like gender equality because at earth there is gender inequality so this is the whole idea of this particular article another is after milestone a long road this article is written by nk roda he was seeing the heads the national expert group on vaccine administration so talking about the relevance of this article there was one particular essay topics asked by upsc in CAP of assistant commandant exam the topic was recent achievement of India's nuclear scientist that was asked in 2017 and you can expect in 2022 that what are the achievement or the contribution of Indian scientist or uh, medical professional or IMCI in national development or during the fight back in the COVID crisis so you can expect this so what is written in this article is 100 crore vaccination landmark was achieved in around 10 months so what this shows this shows that india is self-reliant that is atam neighbor which is uh, time and again propounded by our prime minister so how we are able to achieve this because of the concerted efforts of scientists entrepreneur industry leaders and administrator and government so this is not a one particular uh, individual efforts it's a team efforts and another thing that this nk roda has mentioned that currently india is manufacturing four types of vaccine first is covishield which has been made by the serum institute second is covaxin which is developed by bharat biotech and zycovid and sputnik and what are the challenges we have faced during uh, achieving this 100 uh, crore vaccination landmark first one is uh, vaccine hesitancy due to the misinformation and abhi pichlai topic hum padh ke aaye hain what are the effect of social media on national security and this is also a one of the effect due to misinformation people become hesitant to the vaccine they are not going to the vaccination centers so much rumors around there so to battle this misinformation what government did government they have they've done communication they bring communication experts iconic personality they taken the help of the celebrities religious leaders community leaders due to after this much efforts there is also a social mobilization program and covid appropriate behavior okay and the second challenge is infrastructure infrastructure means we did not have the capability this much capa capability to uh, vaccinate this much population at a time but we had some infrastructure infrastructure like cold storage facilities because india we fought against polio so we had the polio eradication program now currently india is a polio free country and due to this achievement we had developed the cold storage facility across the nation in small villages also at phc chcs and various other government infrastructure so due to that we are able to develop more infrastructure at or more cold storage facilities change a uh, chain across the region due to this one major thing because of the polio eradication program so what is the outcome of this practice we see that 
होल हंड्रेड करोड वैक्सीनेशन लैंडमार्क भी हैव अचीव वट इज द आउटकम सो दिस इज द थिंक विच आई फाउंड द जिस्ट ऑफ दिस आर्टिकल दैट इज इट शोज इंडियाज रेजिलियंट इंडियाज रेजिलियंट और इंडियाज रेजिलियंस टू फाइट बैक फाइट बैक अगेंस्ट द डिजास्टर अगेंस्ट द डिजास्टर एंड इट ऑल्सो शोज द कैपेसिटी एंड कैपेबिलिटी टू डील एनी अनफोर्सिन सरकमस्टांसिस एंड इट हैज ऑल्सो इंक्रीज द स्टेचर ऑफ इंडिया एट द इंटरनेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म्स लाइक इंडिया हैज ऑल्सो रिजॉर्ट टू द सॉफ्ट डिप्लोमेसी एंड वैक्सीन डिप्लोमेसी तो आप इसको इस तरह से भी बात कर सकते हैं नेक्स्ट इज द एजेंडा फॉर ग्लासगो सो वी ऑल आर अवेयर दैट ट्वेंटी सिक्स कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ पार्टी सी ओ पी विल गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड एट ग्लासगो टूमोरो और समथिंग सो वट आर द थिंग्स वी शुड keep in mind first is cop26 will seek to finalize the rules for the 2015 paris agreement we had the 2015 paris agreement and before that we had in 1997 kyoto protocol that is also a watershed uh, event thereafter uh, we have seen so many climate negotiation uh, was done and second is hurdles we we talk we will be talking about the hurdles we are going to face in the climate climate negotiations first is developed countries digress from their commitment to providing finance and technology what happened is in 1997 the developed countries they agreed that they will provide finance and technology to the developing countries but after the this 1987 kyoto protocol it was non binding so there was no uh, due to this non binding nature of the commitment this resulting in the lack of motivation in the developed countries to provide finance or technology to this developing countries and the second is second hurdle will be the carbon market in 1997 during the kyoto protocol this concept got emerge the carbon market what is this carbon market what happen is there is a one particular quota given to one particular nation according to their you know, population or something that is the two developed countries there is a allotted carbon quota and to the developing countries there is also allotted carbon quota so what happen is if the developing countries that that is 100 CO2 equivalent carbon dioxide suppose they have their quota but they are only utilizing 80 CO2 equivalent carbon quota and so that they can sell 20 CO2 equivalent carbon quota to do to this developed countries and they can do more suppose they are also getting the 100 plus 20 so they can purchase this 20 CO2 equivalent carbon dioxide from this developing countries and in the exchange they will be provided more finance and technologies to this developing countries one more hurdle is a net zero or carbon neutrality what does it net zero or carbon neutrality means whatever a nation will produce the co2 he is liable to absorb that particular co2 okay whatever be the emission it has to be absorbed through any means either through either through planting more forest or through any futuristic technology technology so it is solely depend or solely the responsibility of the emitter nation that the net zero or the carbon neutrality says but this net zero carbon neutrality is not a part of paris deal and despite that 50 countries pledged to carbon neutrality that is first one is china and they said that they will achieve the carbon neutrality to 2060 and us said they will achieve up to 2050 and germany 2045 and recently saudi arabia they also announced that they will achieve carbon neutrality to 2060 but india has not committed india has not done as, as any commitment regarding that because india feels that it is against equity and climate justice because these developed nations they are already developed they have already utilized uh, the load of coal and energy 
in their initial phases so if a country is at a developing stage it requires a lot of energy it required uh, required a lot of coal uses and for that the emission is going to be increased if india somehow commits that they will achieve this particular net neutrality at 2016 it will be a great hindrance for their growth so india feels that they will not commit uh, in a near future about this net zero carbon neutralities and one more thing is this like minded developed countries like china india bangladesh iran philippines sri lanka denounce the idea of net zero targeting on everyone they said that if a country voluntarily voluntarily wants to contribute or want to achieve net neutrality that then they are welcome but there should not be a another way around it should not be imposed but the developed countries the hell bent that it should be achieved by everyone countries so the last one is sudan military takes power in a coup so the sudan military they have done a coup against the prime minister hamdok so what is important is the location of the sudan it's lie in africa and the capital is cairo and one more important thing is nile river is also passed through this sudan so i hope you like this video tomorrow we will bring another new current affairs thank you